This was one of the craziest weeks of football. This was one of the craziest weekends of football I've ever seen in my life. I said it, I don't regret it. This is one of the craziest weekends I've ever seen in my life. Would y'all agree or disagree? Bayern Munich gets absolutely annihilated by Frankfurt, right? I think they got absolutely annihilated by Frankfurt. That's number one, right? Y'all saw that? Absolutely annihilated, okay? Annihilated. Then Barcelona ends up getting destroyed at home. Real Madrid drop points. Arsenal drops points, which now just goes, hey, City, guess what? We're going to let you back into the league again. So they drop points. Manchester United... Yeah. Um, and then a lot of y'all don't care about Portugal, but Befica loses, and everybody in Portugal is freaking out because Befica drops points, they tie at home when we had 36 shots. And then leave it up to Sporting <laughs> to go drop points so Befica stays alive in the league, and now Sporting has to go play Porto. <laughs> Oh, man, you love to see it, man. What a weekend. I literally, but if Befica would have just won their game, we're back at first place. Like, I, like Befica's having a terrible season, bro. And then Sporting's like, hey, don't worry, man. We'll keep you guys alive. Don't worry, man. Don't worry, man. Um, and then Liverpool picked up the win, you know? Liverpool's in first place, I think, now. Crazy weekend, man. Guys, is this one of the craziest weekends you've ever seen, yes or no? This weekend is crazy, man. Real Madrid drop points. Bayern, Bayern Munich drop points. All the big clubs from each country, not all the big clubs, but a lot of big clubs in each country lost points, bro. Obviously, Liverpool won. Um, and I guess we really got to talk about, listen, I've been saying it. I think Liverpool are contenders. Chad, give me a one if you agree. I've been saying it. I've been saying it. I've been saying this, bro. Like, this is not something. I've been saying Liverpool are massive contenders again, bro. Who let Barcelona down today? Lewandowski and Arrojo. And I love Arrojo. You guys know I always say he's probably second best center back in the world. I love him. He let, he let Barca down today, man. You cannot head the ball back into a player like that when you play for Barcelona. You, that third goal, bro, that's on Arrojo, bro. You cannot do that, man. You cannot. Not at that moment of the game. That is crazy. That is one of the worst ones I've ever seen Arrojo do, bro. That was awful, lads. And in my opinion, I love Arrojo, man. I love him. But that was a mistake today, lads. You know? Um, Barca fans, do y'all agree? That was a mistake. That's the first thing. And the second thing, and I don't know if Xavi's the one who wanted him, Lewandowski's terrible. I think Barcelona has to blame the players today. Barca fans, yes or no? I think Barcelona have one, pe one person to blame. It's not Xavi, it's the players. Arrojo was terrible today. In my opinion, you can't do that. Lewandowski's been terrible for about a month and a half. About a month and a half. About a month and a half, you know? And um, and they have to look themselves in the mirror, bro. It's on the players, this one. This one, I, I, I don't blame Chavi for this one. I blame the players for this one because you saw the mistakes, you know? Um, so I, 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 blame, I, blame the, I blame the players for this one, man, 100%. I look at the situation that Chavi is dealing with, and I actually think he's doing a fantastic job. I think he's doing a fantastic job. He can't sign anybody he wants. It has to be all loan players that nobody else wants. It has to be free agents. He don't get players that are fitting his system. He's getting players that okay, at least I got at least at least we got bodies. Juwon Cancelo was a loan deal, bro. Juwon Felix is a loan deal. The, when you take a player in on loan, obviously you want the player, right? But that's not, that might not be their first. You guys think Juwon Felix was their first option that they wanted to bring in? Like, do you think if they had the money that they would have went and bought him out and bought Juwon Cancel? Like, y'all really think those were their first options? I don't know, lads. That's what's on the market at the time. That's what's there for you at the time. Because they can't spend money. He's dealing with the team being accused of cheating.
he dealt with that in the locker room. That's a lot to deal with as a manager, bro. And on top of that, let's be honest, he's dealt with a lot of injuries. I don't think Chavi is the problem here. Do you guys? I don't think Chavi's the problem, lads. I don't think Chavi's the problem. In my opinion, the team they played today deserves respect. W or L take chat. Today they showed the world why they're in first place of La Liga. Today they showed the entire world why they are in first place in La Liga. They they are a good team and they play good football and and um and I think they deserve respect. Real Madrid is two points away from first place. Vinny was injured for a long time. There's been injuries all across their team this season. All across their team this season. And they still compete in at the highest level in La Liga. Once they consistently get healthy, and that means just Vinny playing many games over time, everybody, Jude's in there. Once they, they I'm telling you, they're going to cook, man. Like this, I'm, chat, come on, man. Y'all have to see it, bro. This team is crazy. Like, it's a strong-ass team, dude. How are y'all not seeing it? You, you Guys, do y'all think that Real, that Real Madrid is top five in England? Yes or no? Not in Europe, sorry. In Europe. Do y'all think Madrid is top five in Europe? Be honest. Top five? I say yes. I say, honestly, bro, I think they're top three. I think they're top, t top three, dude. Honestly. So I just don't understand how anyone can say Chavi's doing a bad job. Chavi is competing against a top three team in the world right now, bro, with, with, with their key players pretty much being lone players. And one of their key players being 16 years old. Chat, what are we saying to each other, bro? Like, come on, man. Y'all want Xavi to win La Liga against a top three team in the world with two lone people players and a 16-year-old? Like, what are we doing, man? Barca fans, like, give me a one if you feel me here, bro. How can y'all be turning on Xavi or anyone bringing up Xavi's name when this guy has to work with a 16-year-old and a bunch of lone players? It's kind of crazy, man. In my opinion, that's nuts, bro. I don't see the point of giving Barca any hate, man. I think they're doing good. I think they're doing good. And I definitely think they're going to end in the top three, probably top two. Um, Don't disrespect Aleti. I think Aleti shit. I think Aleti shit, bro. Honestly, I'm going to keep it a stack with you. I think Aleti shit. I got nothing to, I got nothing to say about Aleti. I think Aleti shit. I don't even talk about them. There's no point. I think they're shit, bro. I think they're shit. I'm sorry. I'm going to keep it a stack with you. Do I think Aleti's going to beat Real Madrid? No. Do I think Aleti's going to beat Barca? No, bro. I don't. I actually don't. I don't. I don't. I'm sorry, bro. I don't think. I, I, I don't trust Simeone, bro. And I definitely don't trust his ball. I know. I know. I know Glizzy's him. I know Big Grizzy's cooking. But I ain't. So y'all think. Y'all. So wait a minute. You're telling me. You're telling me that Madrid's not going to win the league and they're two points back, but you want me to talk about Atletico Madrid and they're six points back? Seven points back? You don't want me to talk about Madrid and they're two points back, but you want me to talk about Atletico Madrid that are seven points back? Look at games played. Okay, fine. They win it. Four points back? If they win, 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 I don't know, chat. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to disrespect any team. I just think Madrid's really strong. 